Alright, hello, hello, all of you wonderful, wonderful people. It is your boy Ryline and Wookie Monster here. Oh my gosh, I know it's the two <laughs> sexiest men for the 378th day in a row. It's crazy. GQ True. said it, not us. But True. we are here to bring you the Mythic Rewind. This is a recap of week five. It's been a little bit. Hope you all enjoyed your holiday weekends. Hope everyone was safe as well, Wookie. I know you definitely enjoyed yours. I know yeah. I definitely enjoyed mine. Yeah. And, uh, you know. We're excited to go ahead and bring you guys back all the news of week five. We're going to go ahead and jump right into that. Wookie, what are we going to start with here? DSS uh, standings here today? DSS standings for week five, uh, division one. Uh, you know, Pillars is at the top now. Uh, they they had a bye week. Uh, so now I feel like, uh, you know, Pil Pillars is pretty much locked in uh, as, as first seed here and uh you know this play this is playoffs uh and what happened this week was i believe that uh if i remember correctly playboy bunnies lost uh tragically again unfortunate but you know it'd be like that uh to uh who was it to i believe it was oh, wow. a glacial carnage yeah so yeah unfortunately they're not in playoffs and we are taking the top three which is going to be pillars glacial carnage and cb starlight um all three of these teams have done exceptionally well throughout the entire series uh unfortunately wow. depaul and uh playboy bunnies have uh, not been able to get to that third spot there so uh these games you know kind of expected uh you know cb starlight versus depaul university cb starlight actually came in during the midway through the season and is actually tearing things up in this in this division so excited yeah. to see them uh p perform in playoffs uh you know hopefully they do well as the rest of the teams as well this means that uh and we'll we'll get into this a little bit later but this means that pillars doesn't have to play in quarters they they play semis and finals if they if they win there so uh definitely looking That'd forward to that um yeah but yeah let's uh keep moving here i guess we're gonna go into division two uh knights of ishtar takes the lead here uh first okay. place for themselves uh yeah and and then it's dark side project mind goblins embry Reel, and f8 um this is definitely interesting uh i thought that you know i i i was going to hope I was going to prage for F8 to be able to field a five-man roster and just clutch third place, yep. uh, but unfortunately it did not happen, and my gom Mind Goblins takes third place uh, over yeah. Embry-Riddle Eagles. Embry-Riddle has been struggling, uh, you know, having to field different roster members that are of a lower caliber. Um, definitely will put a dent, but hey, they, they at least got some points. They're not last, uh, and they're certainly not least, but... Uh, you know, we're, we're glad that they were able to play. Um, then we have Mind Goblins, Dark Side Project, and Knights of Ishtar. Now, this is a loaded, this is a loaded uh, division here because... Very stacked, definitely. We see that, what? you know, Mind Goblins barely made it to third. So I'm wondering if there's, like, going to be some sort of uh, underdog story here for Mind Goblins because they're kind of halfway. They're, they're three points uh, uh, below the second place. So it's, it's definitely... A difference here uh, but we'll see that they face off against dark side project uh in this coming week uh and we'll get into the dates later i uh, just wanted to share you know who's been doing what in the playoffs what do you get what do you think about this i mean do you think that uh this was expected from both of these divisions that uh depaul playvoid Embry, and f8 would be like kind of the last ones left out uh, I didn't want to say for certain 100%. DePaul was really on that cusp, you know? Like, yeah. they had, like, a little, little jump to them right in the middle of it. But Pillars, Glacial Carnage, Knights of Ishtar, the Dark Side Project, like, they're top four for a reason. Like, they have been doing consistently well from the very beginning of the split. Yeah, it's only been a couple of weeks, but, I mean, every single team that they've gone up against, it has been clearly in their favor, 100%. So... Uh, you know, it, it just, it is unfortunate. One of those things I, I, I thought Embry Riddle was just going to come out, you know, from behind, but, uh, Mind Goblins ended up taking it over them. 
uh, you know, early on, and then, you know, and then securing third place there for Division 2. So, uh, yeah. you know, it, it does suck, but, uh, you know, it is what it is from this point, and, you know, hopefully in later splits that we have, you know, we have a little bit more teams, so that way it's a little bit more competitive, and that's so, like, every single week is as important as the previous one. Yeah, <laughs> There's true. a little bit of leeway in there if you have a little bit more teams, you know, to yeah. maybe go a 1-2 or, or an 0-2 sometimes. But it's crazy uh, because at the same time, like, uh, we almost saw, like, F8 could have definitely taken third place easily yeah. from my goblins if they had 2 0 you know? So it's it's really down to the wire, and for them to enter, uh, you know, halfway through, it's it's definitely uh, a change of pace from our SBS oh, League. Yeah. Speaking of SBS League, let's get right into uh, Week 5, Division 1 standings here. Sure. Uh, the change here is that Turnips Tots now in first, and Insomnia was yeah. first last week, so that, that kind of changed. And then we have a bit of changes going all around on the bottom side of the bracket. Unfortunately, 100 Thumbs still at uh, three points. Uh, they were, I think they were facing, who did they face? They faced, uh, what was it? Let's see. Oh, Prefno Leash. They, they faced Prefno Leash in round four. Um, so, yeah, and sitting on words in the same place, pretty much needlessly large rods got up to fourth, and I think that's important for them as, yeah. uh, you know, they haven't been doing necessarily well. They were stuck on three points for a while uh, ever since uh, week four uh, standings. Yeah, it's three teams that have been at three points, so one of them changed, and that was needlessly large rods. Um, so looking forward to that. Uh, Agoat is right behind them, though, at six points. So definitely uh, some contention there. And I'm surprised that Pref No Leash, uh, you know, dropped so far down. Uh, they they have been in the middle pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty much throughout the season so far. So maybe not too much change there. But what do you think of this uh, standings for this, this division? Uh, I, I like the fact that Insomnia, uh, well, they're not technically out of first place. They're tied for first place yeah. with 13 points each. Um, but it, it is nice to see uh, a change from the Insomnia Ouroboros in the number one spot. Yeah. Turn up top coming right up. You know, they've been sitting at number two for quite some time. Uh, sitting on wards, you know, remaining in a healthy third spot there with 10 points. You know, a little bit above the rest there that are fighting for that fourth place spot, which we said, you know, a couple weeks ago, like that. These top three teams will probably be in this top three spot the entire time, and then fourth spot, it's going to be really, really battling it out, and here yep. we are. Uh, you know, Pref No Leash is not out of it just yet. I'm also surprised to see them at sixth place, just like you said. Uh, you know, being one of the veteran teams, you know, we know these players, we know how they play, uh, and to see them in sixth place really shows you how much, you know, outside talent has definitely stepped in and played a huge role inside, uh, you know, our Mythic community. Uh, but also the improvement of the other teams. Turnips Tots, I mean, they've always been strong, but now they're actually, like, proving it. They have something to back it all the way up with. Uh, yep. You know, Sitting on Wards has also been one of those huge veteran teams as well, and they're doing just fine. So Prep No Leash, they're not out of it. You know, this week is going to be tough for them. This is not going to be the week for them to lax off and, you know, try to take it easy at all. They are still very much contending for that fourth place, and, you know, it's kind of up to Needlessly Large Rod. Uh, are they on a bye week this week? They are, aren't they? Needlessly large rods. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. This week, no. They they're play, They played a hundred thumbs for this. The, week. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Okay. Well, yep. you know, it, it it is what it is. You know, they probably got. I don't know if they got a couple of points off that at the moment. So here, needlessly but... large rods. They did play. Uh, they did have a, a game that they played during. Uh, the break week, so they're they actually two one hundred thumbs, uh, if I remember correctly. So, so definitely. Eight. Or wait, is this round five? Oh wait, do I have the wrong dates on here? Oh, this is round six. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong thing. Uh, they face okay. they face a goat. My bad. Uh, they face a goat, and yeah, two one a goat. So Ago technically is now at seven, large rods at eight. Um, okay. Yeah. So. so they're still right there though. They need to either yeah. get the two one this week or the two zero in order to still be in contention for that fourth place spot with Nimbusy large rods and Ago. Yeah. So they have one it, more, 
literally only one more week after this, uh, you know, after what they did this week to kind of get at least further and further along here. So they're definitely up there, though. And yeah. depending on how the bottom teams go, um, this could be an interesting division turnout here. Uh, we do have kind of the, the, the top three that are separated from the rest, but uh, Large Rods definitely have a chance to just 2-0 in the, in the coming week for round seven. Uh, they're going up against sitting on Ward, so good luck with that. But Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult, but you know it's uh, we're not counting anybody out yet. Uh, two more weeks to go. Uh, this, these standings are definitely still volatile as ever. So moving on to Division 2. Uh, week five, Shemkang got a buy. Uh, then we have X Rising, second place. Uh, we hate Renekton in third. Gregory loves his fries at fourth. TDS Proton fifth. Six is TDO Daddy's Degenerates, and Seven Savages at dead last seventh place. So uh, this is going to be interesting um, because Shrimp Gang have still been at the top for. You know, pretty much the same amount of time as uh, Insomnia or Wars has. Right. So, um, you know, they can only just go keep going forward from here. I think they kind of locked in at least top four. Um, obviously, they can be, you know, jotted down. Uh, they face We Hate Renekton uh, this week, and then next week they face. See. Oh, next <laughs> the round seven. That's gonna be a banger series. Is X Rising versus Shrimp Gang? Yeah, uh, that will be a definite uh, stream game. One hundred percent. Definitely, definitely a, a banger of a series. Uh, hopefully, we can get that scheduled and locked in. But the that's way too much in the future. We're talking about these standings right now. I do think right. that compared to the previous week standings, it seems like uh, you know, everybody's kind of staying the same. Um, I mean, literally, there was no changes. Like everybody stayed in their same spots from last week, so it's crazy to to see that on the stand. Like just looking at these standings and then look at week four standings and then looking at these standings, are pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much, yeah, identical. You're yeah. not gonna lie. <laughs> pretty much identical. So, uh, definitely looking forward to some change here. Um, you know, and we'll get into that in predictions in a little bit. Um, but yeah, and that's going to wrap it up for the, the uh, standings for week five. Let's move on to uh, DSS playoffs time, baby. Woo. Uh, we made it. And uh, first round uh, on Friday, uh, they haven't posted a time yet, uh, oh. but Friday, probably around 8 p.m. Eastern, I would hope. Uh, they, they do have until tonight to lock their schedules in. Uh, hopefully, hopefully everybody gets that in but it's going to be Mind Goblins versus Glacial Carnage in the bottom bracket there uh, that is going to be the, f the match on Friday uh, it is a best of three so not best of fives just yet semifinals is where best of fives take place um, and then on Sunday it's going to be uh, CB Starlight versus uh, the Dark Side Project so those are definitely going to be banger games. I think both of those series are, are, are definitely uh, volatile because, uh, you know, as I've as we've said, like all all six of these teams have been doing quite well uh, in the DSS. So and, you know, I'm kind of I, I kind of have to throw uh, I want my goblins to be the underdogs of uh, of the really? bottom bracket there. So I'm going to say a two one. In favor of them for Gla uh, against Glacial Carnage. I know Glacial Carnage has been doing really well, but they have, you know, had some losses. Um, you know, stat checked as a team. It's possible that Mayan Goblins do take it, but I mean, my predictions are always wrong, anyways. So, <laughs> uh, but CB Starlight versus Dark Side Project. This is a hard one. Um, both teams yet again doing very well. Honestly, I feel like CB Starlight has it in a two-one fashion. Um, I'm gonna go with them. Just a gut feeling right there. So, uh, what are your predictions for these two games? Okay, uh, mine are the opposite of yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm definitely gonna go with the TDS uh, uh, over 
CB is in the two in their favor. Right? I think CB is completely out of it, just like I said. Okay. I can put him in a light. Uh, I would like to see my mind goblin in the sense CB Starlight be the underdog going into the pillars. Um, nice nice of Ishtar fight. Yeah. The only dilemma is those teams are really, really good. They're so good. And, yeah. um, you know, I, no offense, it's just like, you know, CB Starlight, Mind Goblins, they have been doing the best in their division. You know, they have made it to playoffs, obviously, but I think, um, Glacial Carnage and the Dark Side Project are going to be the ones to take on each other's counterparts. Um, and, you know, go from there. They're going to have a rematch against their, their, you know, rivals throughout their divisions, and they're going to be able to maybe overcome them. Who knows? Yeah. But, uh, you know, I definitely think that these two teams would hold the biggest contending, you know, fight against them before they make it to the finals itself. So I'm going to say 2-1, opposite of you in both regards. Glacial <laughs> Carnage 2-1 and uh, TDSP 2-1 over uh, CBS. Okay, well that's that's a that's a you know we're we're gonna see who who wins or if if we're kind of just mixed here uh, between the two. Hello, Lupul. Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh, you are loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, new microphone, ladies and gentlemen. New microphone. I'm gonna lower you. You said hello and blasted my eardrums. <laughs> yeah, I'm eating my microphone. There Sorry, guys. Okay. What's up? Hey. Um. I have a shirt on. <laughs> you have a shirt on. Nice. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? So we're talking about DSS right now. Uh, what are your predictions? Because we got we got quite a few uh, spicy yeah. spicy things here. Raleon says that uh, the the complete opposite of me. He says mm -hmm. Dark Side Project two one CB Starlight and then uh, Glacial Carnage two two one Mind Goblins right. Uh. Yeah. Is, I think he that said right, that. Riley? I think he said that. Yeah, yeah. I okay. said yeah. I, it was TDSP two one over CB Starlight, and Glacial Carnage two ones over Mind Goblins. I think both of them will at least take one game before uh, leading to the semi. Okay, so I know that CB Starlight is kind of one of those teams that uh, is one of those teams that could be an underdog. That's the underdogs of that division, right? They were the underdogs of that division. Mind Goblins, yeah. Mind Goblins yeah. was, and then okay. So CBI unfortunately, right? I think I think Glacial Carnage can um, can actually knock out Mind Goblin. So I'm gonna agree with Riley on that. It is gonna be a two one, because okay. um, Wookie does have a uh, caster curse, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> I definitely do. And then uh, for CB Starlight versus TDS, I think that's actually gonna be a draft. It's gonna be a draft matchup. But I think that TDSP is going to be able to knock out CB Starlight. But I'm going to say, if they draft properly in both games, I believe that might be a 2-0. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I'm hoping. Here's the hoping. Lupul has the caster curse as well. So when you both have caster curse going against each other, <laughs> that just causes my stream to crash. So that that's just... It's like you're I'm welcome. You're, you're welcome, here, by so. the way. You're, you're, I, I just you. love to make your stream... It, crash by the way i'm not wearing a hat today for some i just realized that <laughs> okay looks good yeah i but, mean uh, you know looking at the kind of the stats of uh some of the weeks here on the stats page it it seems like everybody's pretty much doing doing their due diligence and uh making sure that their kdas are pretty much up there um dark side project definitely has some strong members i'm seeing a lot of like really good score lines from then uh you know yeah. people like eggplant vendor i've seen them play uh goat milk yum yum uh yeah kind of well, okay you know, huh i can't i can't i i can't take it away from mind goblin i can't take it away from my goblins you're correct yeah. uh, the reason why is because they did they were able to get a game uh well i'm sorry uh one of the teams that are the reason why i give it to t uh tdsp is because they were able to take a game off koi the Knights of Ishtar. Yeah. All right. They were able to take one game off them, but Very also, um, I believe if I look at it, uh, the Knights of Ishtar, Mind Goblins, uh, Mind Goblins were able to two o t uh, TDSP that one week, um, but Glacial Carnage is in my eyes. They're kind of like one of a top, one of the top tier teams because they can they do like to draft very well. 
They only so. two would because Dark was playing that. that oh yeah, I was. forgot about that. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dark, stop feeding other people. Um, and maybe we might have a uh, fair game. Uh, moving on. Well, I'm True. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Running it down during Clash is all I'm gonna say. Well, uh, I, the cool dreams is good, we'll like you said. Eggplant vendor, Wookie, like yeah, goat milk, yum yum, like. They are insane players, so TDS uh, definitely stacked, 100%. And Mind Goblins, you know, they have Dravoon, they have Hayden, uh, you know, who's that, Ryan? Yeah, Ryan for Ace. I mean, they have a lot of good, also solid players on Mind Goblins for being able to pick it up at the very end like they did. So, you know, they yeah. definitely had to fight for that third place spot, 100%. And, and I mean, uh, so did, you know, like, you know, No Attack and his team, right? Like, oh, yeah. No Attack had an oh. amazing scoreline in the previous week. Uh, uh, playing Seraphine and Yumi, so uh, two two and fourteen, two 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 one and twenty five. Like holy moly, uh, that was a that was a s solid win for them. Uh, yeah, might be might need to be like uh, like you said, a draft. This is gonna be a draft based series, depending yeah. on just who wins. Like whether like who's in the meta. You know, if you're able to pick properly into like either a dive comp. You know, are you gonna do more utility? It's just like Lupus. It's gonna be up to the up to the draft at that. Yeah. I'm excited right. to uh, see it 100%. And so just make sure that you do your research. Yeah. All teams. Yeah. All teams do your research. <laughs> uh, I'm th I threw up the dates uh, yet again for quarterfinals here. Uh, they are best of threes. They are going to be July 8th and July 10th. Um, times they have not uh, scheduled yet. Hopefully it's around 8 p.m. Eastern so that everybody can tune in. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, this is gonna be really good uh, quarterfinals. I I feel for DSS. Uh, moving on, we have uh, this round for uh, round six for Division One of SBS. Uh, so now we have Algo versus Needlessly Large Rods. Like I said, they already played their match. Uh, it was a two-one in favor of Needlessly Large Rods. Uh, then we have a hundred thumbs versus Relinquish Renegades, which was actually scheduled for today, so they're actually going at it right now. Um, oh yeah, are they? Yeah. They oh are. yeah, they are. They hmm. definitely are. Um, this this match was approved, uh, and then we got Turnips Tots versus Insomnia Ouroboros, and I believe that is Sitting on Wards versus Prefno Leash. That is going to be a banger. Or Lupul, what are your predictions for at least the bottom match there? The bottom match? Yeah. Um... Sitting on wars for his pref no leash, bro. That's a throwback. Okay. Well, I do have to say, sitting on wards, uh, both these teams are kind of in the... If I'm looking at this properly... Uh, one second. The SBS results... Uh, actually, no. I'm sorry. SBS standings is what I should be looking at. Um, pref no leash for sitting on wards. Uh, sitting on wards is kind of up there. Pref no leash did have a slow start to the series they have yeah. two week this week and next week um i'm gonna have to say sitting on wards okay um i i i enjoy their their team gameplays and but prep no leash has been too uh too slow on the come up hopefully they actually do their research but yeah uh two one is what i'll say though okay not two oh and uh then we have turnips toss which is insomnia orbo or something it's between it, these are actually two teams that are like at the top too. So what do you, no, what do you think? they're tied. They're tied. Yeah, they're tied. These are so, the Titans. Uh, <laughs> it, it is. It is a really, really like who's gonna if, if you win this one, you have a good chance of making it through playoffs, right? So who do you think is gonna take that one? I is Turnips Tots their whole roster main roster back on? By the way, do we know? Uh, Do we know if nobody's on vacation? So. Yeah, everyone's back, I believe. 100% okay. roster. Yeah. All right, sorry. Turn up thoughts. Even though Juggernaut's probably going to run it down. You remember three the three basics of life, or three things of life that Primus lives by. Pay your taxes, you die, and Juggernaut will split push. Hmm. Um, Facts. Uh, if Turnips uh, does exactly what Turnips wants to do... Then I have a horrible feeling Insomni Ouroboros will finally find uh, their second loss this whole split. Uh, they lost last, they lost not last week, but the week before that to the other team that they played. 
on blanking week, on the top of my on head. Week four or week five? Uh, week five. Week five. Week uh, week five. They lost. Week five. They did lose. Uh, they lost to Insomnia Ouroboros and Aga. Yeah, uh, yeah they on Prefno Leash or uh, City Awards. Oh no, I'm or, talking about Insomnia. Sorry. I'm. Uh, let's see. Week four. Is it week four? What I'm sorry. I'm I am... looking at week five. Sorry. Uh, week yeah. five. Yeah. So it was Turnips Tots versus Relinquished, and then it was Insomnia versus Sitting on Wards. Yeah. So Sitting on Wards just handed them their first L. L the la oh, last. Oh yeah, that's right. Round. That was their first L. This whole split. True. And yeah. so, honestly, I believe that Turnips Tots might will, will be handing Insomnia on Wards their second L of this split. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, two one at least though. Two one at least because Juggernaut, Juggernaut's that factor. <laughs> okay, fair, fair. And for the hundred thumbs versus relinquished renegades, they're bottom of the bracket, so we're kind of going from the top two to the bottom two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Who'd you go with on that one? I'm gonna have to say. I want to give it to, as as much as, relinquished renegades is a great team. But I want to give it to Relinquish Grenegades, actually. Uh, yeah. But it's not going to be an easy victory and stuff like that. It's going to be maybe 2-1 Relinquish Renegades. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It's it's Like I said, they had, they had this extra spare week to literally do the research, literally uh, do... Literally check on the champions, see who they want to target ban, see who they didn't want to target ban, see who wasn't a problem, and... Let's hope that that extra week paid off. Or I know that some people were with their families over the weekend. Or in Wookie's case, he was on vacation. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, but it was one of those. It's one of those things that I utilize your time right. You will become better and also draft better. But that's just me. Yep. Uh, all right. So, how about you, Riley? On starting from the top. The top, uh, I'm gonna go actually with uh, well, yeah, I'll go. No, uh, that that match team. already happened. <laughs> oh yeah. That, yeah, I'm sorry, that You're one good. is already done. Starting mm -hmm. with the hundred thousand versus relinquished renegades. That one's gonna be difficult. I'm gonna go two one relin or uh, hundred thumbs. Sorry. You're going uh, against me. I see. I mean, <laughs> hardcore crossfire talent, grim like they all are good players. Not gonna lie, you know, but. WLV8 or, you know, Than uh, Thanor, Volrin, Quincy, like, those are also good players. It's unfortunate that they're on the bottom side of the bracket, but, you know, these are two very solid teams, um, you know, to be going up against. But I'm going to go with 100 Thumbs, 2 ones, uh, Relinquish Renegades. Turn of Sots and Insomnia. Oh, this is... Those are Titans. King Kong like versus... Said, uh, Godzilla. You know, Godzilla yeah. here. So, I'm... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm... This is hard. Pickle. They got Pickle. They got Depression. They got Storm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get beat up no matter who I pick. Yeah, um, you are. <laughs> yeah, Careful. I'm going to have to go. I'm. Oh, damn. I would flip a coin if I had one. But yeah, you want me to? I got, I got a no. dice. I got a dice. I'm going to go Insomnia the... over Turnips. 2-1. And it's going to be three 45-minute games. I know that for a fact. So we'll see what happens there. And okay. for the bottom, Mythic, uh, Pref No Leash versus Sitting on Wards. I'm going to go with Pref No Leash, actually, is going to 2-1 Sitting on Wards. They have a lot riding on this. They need to prove themselves, and they have to win 2-1 to be in a contending spot. So they have a lot. Like I said, they just have a lot riding on it. So they're either going to 2-0 or 2-1, uh, but they are going to win over Sitting. How about you, Wood? Huh. All right. So I'll start from the bottom here. Uh, I, I honestly think that Sinema Wards, they've been doing extremely well. They have a lot of uh, good substitutes as well. Um, you know, we got players like Snacks and Reyna, or 1G Trend Daily and Reyna. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they don't obviously have to use them, but their main roster, it's just, it's stacked, right? Like, they've been consistently high in the standings. So I do think that uh, Sinema Wards is going to 2-0 Pref No Leash. Uh, these are two mythic teams that are going against each other, so it's hard to like pick favorites here. But uh, I do think that City of Wars has just been consistently performing well throughout the season. Uh, yes, they aren't first, 
uh, but they're certainly not last, and uh, it shows. So I definitely think uh, Javi and the rest of them can definitely take down Jack's team. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've seen that before in, in previous leagues. Uh, these we teams, have. <laughs> we definitely have seen these teams go against each other, and it it's always a banger between the two. Um, so looking sure. forward to that. Uh, then we have Turnips Toss versus Insomnia. Honestly, I've been really wrong with my predictions always. Uh, I, I feel like Turnips Tots is going to 2-1 Insomnia Ouroboros because they've been doing pretty well themselves. Uh, but I don't think that we can count out Insomnia Ouroboros yet. They, I mean, both teams have only dropped one game the entire season, uh, which sure. is crazy. Um, and so I think that I think that this is going to be a tough match for them. Like you guys have stated, it's going to be long games. Um, but I, ultimately, I think Terms Tots has what it takes. Uh, they definitely do their research. I, you know, they 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 do, they do hours and hours of research on the team. So if they can't nail this one, it's possible that Insomnia can take it to the top. So uh, I'm voting in favor of them. Hopefully, uh, you know. Uh, insomnia proves me wrong or something. Uh, I would like that to happen. It's happened every time to me, anyways. So, <laughs> caster curse. Caster curse. Uh, then I'm gonna go with uh, for the hundred thumbs versus relinquished. Uh, I think that hundred thumbs actually have the advantage here uh, over relinquished, only because I feel like uh, Volrin and his team. Uh, I think they definitely have what it takes. Uh, or Viator and his team. I, I think they have what it takes. It's just they... They're both... Like, both of these teams are, like, very low in the standings. But yeah. I think that, given that, I think the... the Just the, the carry potential on the side of 100 Thumbs will, will carry them through. We got Viator. He's, he's a classic ADC player, you know. Um, and I think that Relinquish has been switching around their roster a little bit too much. Um, yeah. I think, actually, they're using... Uh, right now, they're using a substitute, if I remember correctly, uh, which is Fey Dragon. And Fey Dragon is taking, uh, um, I think it's a gush low, no, not gush lows, Hardcore's place in mid lane right now. Or maybe I'm wrong. No. Talon's oh. place. Sorry. Talon's place in, oh. in the jungle right now. So we'll see how that goes. Talon is a key player to their team. So I also yeah, think that that's, that's a, that's a, that's one you're like, oh no, why did we have to replace Talon for this game? Kind of a nail biter right yeah, there. Yeah, kind of a nail biter. So I am gonna go with hundred thumbs. Uh, so yeah, that was. All right, hardcore. If you're listening to this, prove them wrong, please. <laughs> He's got yeah, straight on had... his game for sure. But he'll look back and be like, damn, I I didn't win, <laughs> or did? I and don't know. you you, we'll you ruined you ruined me. You ruined me. <laughs> ruined. All right, let's get to Division Two, Round Six. Uh, we have We Hate Renekton versus Shrimp Gang. Then we have a buy for Seven Savages. We have Gregory Loves His Fries versus TPO Daddy's Degenerates. And then we have Mythic X Rising versus TDS Proton. All right, I guess I'll go first with the uh, predictions this time. We Hate Renekton versus Shrimp Gang. Now, Shrimp Gang has been at the top <laughs> forever. Uh, I don't think yes. that's going to change. Uh, we Hate Renekton is currently third place, though. Um, oh. They won would both weeks and still managed to get uh, both the last two weeks and still managed to be number three, which is amazing to me, right? Because, um, like, that just means that either the bottom teams are not doing well at all, which they really aren't, um, or something else has happened. Like, maybe they're just getting extremely lucky here. Uh, no flame, though. No flame. But I, I think they're going to have to prove themselves. Uh, if they do take down Shrimp Gang, that's that's a statement, uh, honestly. Um, True. But I think that Shrimp Gang is going to 2-1 them. Prove me wrong, we hate Renekton. Prove me wrong. Um, you know, because <laughs> all, all of my predictions about them specifically have been dead wrong so they've been scuffed yeah it's, it's been scuffed for them uh, moving on though gregory versus tpo daddy's degenerates you know i really want uh daddy's degenerates to at least you know get further into the uh top of the standings here they've been down at the bottom forever <laughs> and i think that I... uh this might be a chance for them to at least try to snag fourth place from gregory because gregory is in fourth 
if yes. if t if daddy's degenerates does get the 2-0 they will get to eight points and that could possibly mean that they snag fourth away so true. hey you guys yeah that's true they did oh, upset okay. x rising last week which x rising they did uh, you know, and that's gonna be my prediction. I feel like Daddy's degenerates have what it takes to two O Gregory. Uh, we'll have to yeah. we'll have to see about that one. Uh, but the last one for this division is gonna be X Rising versus TS Proton. I think that X Rising have just been knocking it out of the ballpark. Uh, I, I feel like uh, yes, they they took a lot a monumental loss uh, last week, but. Oh, yeah. I I think that they still have what it takes uh, against TS Proton, who have, you know, kind of just been in the middle or in the bottom middle of the bracket uh, of the standings so far consistently. Um, but I don't think they have what it takes. I think X Rising is gonna two O TDS Proton. Okay. Uh, I mean to make mine very quick, very simple. Yes. I literally had the exact same thing as Wookie. Oh, to the T. <laughs> I mean, like, literally, I was going down, and I was just like, I would like to see We Hate Renekton win, but I definitely think Shrimp Gang is going to win. 2-1, 100%. Seven Savages, they've got that. Gregory Lives is fries, but with the win that they got last week, Daddy's Degenerates, they could carry that over into this week. I'm going to give them the 2-0 over Gregory Lives is fries. Definitely. That would be exciting to see. I yeah. wanted to spice it up, but Wookie took that from me. <laughs> and then uh, X Rising, same thing. They've just been a very strong force. I think they're going to do phenomenal. Yeah, they Ooh. had a little bit of a, you know, mix-up last week, but that's all right. But I think that they're going to 2, at the very least, 2-1. But I think they're going to 2-0 TDS Proton. Uh, sorry to interrupt here, but we are, I'm going to give a live update right now. 100 Thumbs just 2-0'd Relinquish Renegades. Wow. Really? Oh. All right. I was right on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, well, wait, hardcore, was, you, I, was I right? <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah, we 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 both said hundred. You got you guys were right. Okay. I he was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I was the wrong one. Where's our oh, points? Boy. Where's our points? <laughs> yeah, we need our, we need um, our prediction points here. You get a hug. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So I I will agree with you, Shrimp Gang. Um, Shrimp Gang will win against the win against we, we hit Renekton. But I do have some insight on the TPO Double Ds and X Rising. I think they just went through uh, they went through a lot of changes, a yeah. few changes in the past couple weeks. Uh, TPO true. Double Ds, uh, their coach is playing mid lane. Ooh. Yeah, their uh, coach is playing mid lane. That's true. They did uh, put uh, Chaotic Neutral into mid lane, so we'll have to see how that goes. And also, uh, uh, Nylia rework went from the dss or the our uh, sbs and the ds team uh dss playboy bunnies over to x rising That's so true. she is now their ad carry wow so, okay. so this Nyla, is we're gonna see all right nice. yeah so i honestly think this is gonna be those two teams like this whole those three teams shrimp gang tpo double d's and x rising all two o's okay that's it okay end wow. of story just sweet those three there you go yeah nice quick round six for you <laughs> hey, I gotta, I gotta say it. Like, I, I've been playing. Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of throw people under the bus here. I've been playing with uh, TPO Double Ds a couple times. Uh, just, just some of their members, and they're like, when they actually buckle in, they're actually really, really, uh, really good. Yeah, <laughs> they can carry yeah. a game. Uh, I, I'm gonna say the same for Nyla Rework and Mustard Cat. They, they've definitely got synergy. Um, as as I've seen them play, so definitely look looking forward to that. Hopefully we can uh, stream it. And uh, speaking of streaming, though, we're gonna get right into who we are streaming. Uh, yeah. Let's sure. see. I did not mean to do that, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be so Thursday uh, on the seventh. We're actually gonna do sitting on wards versus Pref No Leash, uh, nine mm -hmm. p.m. Eastern. That's gonna be a banger series. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I'm looking forward to that definitely. Um, that's that's a classic matchup, like we've stated before. Um, then we have uh, on Friday we have the DSS, which is going to be uh, quarterfinals. Uh, first match is Mind Goblins versus Glacial. Um, that's going to be 6:30 p.m. Eastern, or no, not 6:30. We haven't gotten a schedule for that yet, so yeah, we, we have, yeah, we haven't. We don't that. know. Hopefully, it's uh, they they post it soon. Uh, then we've got Saturday, 
on the 9th. It's TPO's Daddy's Degenerates versus Gregory Loves His Fries. So we're not going to be streaming the x Rising game versus TS Proton, but uh, this is going to be a good one too, I feel. Um, hopefully, like I said, I'm hoping that Daddy's Degenerates does pull out a dub for this one uh, as it will put them closer to getting in playoff range. So, uh, And then we have Sunday... It's going to be Mine Goblins versus Glacial Carnage. We don't have a time for that. Hopefully they post it oh, soon. That one's, uh, it, it, I think we Art. said that oh. one twice. Uh, yeah, it's not the right one. <laughs> Riley on, right. he, he I'm tricked sorry. me. No, I... <laughs> he bamboozled me. Hey, um, um, guess what? Wookie can't, myself. ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Wookie can get bamboozled, all right? He may be our lovely uh, owner I, of you know, Mythic, I'm still jet lagged. But... I'm still no, 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 no. You had 12 hours before you before we did this to it's, get. I actually CB did Starlight not. Starlight versus uh, TDSP. <laughs> yeah, CB Starlight versus uh, the Dark Side Project. That's gonna be a good one. Uh, yeah, well. And so we'll we'll have a hopefully have a time for that one for you all. Uh, we will be posting uh, the times yeah. uh, in the announcements. So if you're not part of the Discord, links down below. Yep, link down below for the Discord. Uh, other than that, I pretty sure that's that's it. Uh, I've got no really other announcements. Uh, mm. I think we're looking forward to what playoffs for DSS. Um, hopefully, it's a smooth uh, transition, uh, and hopefully, you know, we get some spicy games out of that because I think that 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 Elo range has definitely got some banger games. We saw last season how literally. The undefeated team gets defeated for the first time in playoffs. That was that was crazy to me. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, both times. Oh, both, both times. times. Yeah. Both Yikers. Times. So, uh, definitely looking forward to that. Um, other than that, yeah, SBS. We're moving steadily along. Almost, almost there for playoffs. So, uh, yeah. Any last words from you two? Any any analysis left to do? Global. Uh, do your do your research don't <laughs> don't even this is the last two weeks for sbs this is crunch time for dss do not even just skip over it don't look at it like glancing like oh look this person plays so and so i don't like so and so let's just get rid of that think of a comp try to think of a comp think of a team teamwork uh think of a whether you're split pushing against this whole team or you're just doing something else because you realize that they just play certain times of champions yeah pro comps true. can help with that just saying pro comps can help I'm, with that. Uh, pro hey. comps can definitely help with that and uh i'm definitely looking forward to you know this week it's going to be start of the quarterfinals for the dss that means we're going to be shaving down moving into the uh you know semis and the finals for the dss and then this for the final weeks you know the regular season for the sbs so we're definitely going to see a lot of good gameplay. At least some people that are right on that cusp of getting into that, you know, playoff contention spot. So, uh, you know, I expect this to be a really fun-filled last few weeks, and I will be looking forward to the play-by-play -play casting, which I will be doing more of this week, uh, you know, as well. So it's going to be a fun time overall. Looking forward to it. Yep, and we'll have the casters and the times and everything uh, situated in the announcements channel, like Lupul stated soon so uh we're just waiting on a few more teams to submit their scheduling uh but yeah that's gonna be it for us here at uh mythic rewind week five uh it's gonna be a beggar dss playoffs we're looking forward to it and yeah that's it from us have a good night peace out